What's good, everyone? It's your boy Swaggy here back. Today we are talking about, of course, yes, James Harden. He was spotted at another club last night. And once again, I don't have a problem with Harden, man, going out to the club. I do have a problem with him not wearing a mask just because when you're out there, man, you're taking the risk of getting the virus. And if you get the virus, of course, you can spread it. I mean, if Harden gets it, he'll probably have like a 99.9% chance to survive. But if he passes it to someone else, man, they might not have that same luxury. So that really isn't the point we're talking about. COVID, yeah, it's a big deal. But I think the bigger issue here, man, I'm not saying that this is that basketball is a bigger issue than COVID because it's not, but I am saying that this means more than I think I've been making it out to be. I've been pushing and pushing and saying that this is not a big deal, that James Harden will be a rocket to start the season. To this point, I still believe that, but every day it seems like it is going down, man. I can't definitively say that James Harden will be here next season to this point, and that's just crazy. And the thing that really put me over the top to say that was what I learned today from James Harden's own mother saying that he's doing the best for his career. He's asking for a chance to get a ring and that's it. Now, I do have a problem with this because he has a chance to win a ring in Houston. Let me remind you guys that the Rockets have Christian Wood, John Wall, and DeMarcus Cousins. Yes, you can say two of those three guys are injury prone, but Anthony Davis, once again, is injury prone. He's been injured a lot in his career. You look at a guy like Paul George, he's been injured in his career. Like Anyone is really injury prone. Anyone can get injured. If there's any injury of a star, if Paul George or Anthony Davis goes down, those teams have a 0% chance to win the championship. It's the same with the Rockets. If John Wall goes down, if Marcus Cousins goes down, we're probably screwed. I, I don't know. I, I, go, I wouldn't go as far as Boogie because they can probably, like if you get like a Nerlens Noel from the Knicks or something, I feel like he could probably fill in. I mean, he's not Boogie, but... So I'm not going to say that the Rockets would be screwed with a Boogie. I mean, they do need him. If they want to win, they're going to need a healthy DeMarcus Cousins for sure. But I don't see how James Harden is just going out to clubs every night to send a message to the Rockets. Because first of all, if he does go to the Brooklyn Nets, let's say the Rockets trade James Harden to the Nets for Spencer Dinwiddie, Jared Allen, Karis LeVert, Terion Prince, and what, three first-round picks and two pick swaps. One, that's not enough, and two, if James Harden wins a ring with Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving, what does that really mean? I mean, yeah, he has a ring and no one can say that he doesn't have a ring, but all we're going to hear is the same thing that Durant heard that when he went to the 73-9 Warriors, that he couldn't do it by himself, man. He's not LeBron, and he's not, because LeBron James actually won championships without super teams. I mean, yeah, LeBron had a hell of some teams, like that Miami team, even that Cleveland team, they weren't good defensively, but they had Kyrie and Kevin Love. Like, offensively, they were pretty damn good. And they had J.R. Shumper at the time. I mean, Shump wasn't healthy, but J.R. was still really good. So, And also, Ty Lue was the coach. So it's not like he had a, a great coach. But the point being, man, is that this whole thing has been blown out of proportion. I do still think what I thought yesterday. I do, honestly, like if I had to put a bet, like if I was betting money, I would bet that James Harden will be here next season. And as long as he's here next season, I think he'll understand that he really does have a chance to win a championship. Like any roster that James Harden is on has a chance at a championship. It's just going to come down to, can they stay healthy? Because they really haven't. I mean, we haven't seen a healthy Rockets team together. And when we did, you guys remember 2017, 2018, when they had Clint Capella, Chris Paul, and James Harden, when they all played, they were like, what, 50 eight and five or something ridiculous like that they, they were like literally 55 and, and five or something like think about that they were 50 games over 500 they were unbeatable nobody was beating that team in a seven game series you're not beating that team four to seven times and it's really it's honestly the same with this roster man I think Christian Wood is going to be a 2010 guy a lot of people don't think that he's the second option but I've been saying even when Russ was here like when people thought Russ was going to be a rocket I still said that Wood would be the second option because he's a big man and in order to win a championship, you need a very good guard and a very good big man. And I know that in the 70s, Walt Frazier and Earl the Pearl Monroe did it, but that was the 70s. This is not the 70s anymore. We're in an era where you do need a good big man. You need an Anthony Davis or a Carl Anthony Towns. You, you really do, honestly. And I feel like Christian Wood is that guy. He can do anything. He can shoot. He can run, pick, and roll. He can block shots. He's been challenged by... I believe DeMarcus Cousins, had, or was it DeMarcus Cousins? 
Yeah, I think it was Cousins, Boogie. He said that he's challenging Christian Wood to be an All-NBA defender. And if that happens, the Rockets will have two All-NBA defenders in their starting lineup. John Wall is an All-NBA defender, and Christian Wood would be an All-NBA defender. That is very scary. And also, don't forget that Eric Gordon and Daniel House Jr. are both very good defenders in their own rights. Uh, I, I think it can happen, honestly. I really do think that this Rockets team can win a championship. Now, it's not going to be easy, man. A lot of things are going to have to go our way, but it's the same thing with any other championship, man. Winning a championship is winning a championship, and I'd rather see Harden stay in Houston the rest of his career and they keep building uh, the roster and assets because you have to think they have three first-round picks. They got two from the Blazers, and they got one, of course, from the... Pistons when they did the when they basically shedded Trevor Ariza's salary they yeah they gave up the first this year and then they gave up Ariza and then for a future pick so yeah they have assets one guy that honestly to this point I don't know if they're even looking at him to be honest with you but I think Buddy Heald would be a player that would really make a lot of sense here because he's 27 years old so he's in his prime it's not like he's 23 or 24 he's in his prime which is what Harden needs. He needs an established veteran that can shoot the ball. And Buddy Heald is a career 42% three-point shooter. And if you pair him with James Harden and John Wall, that would make such sense. And I know there are people saying that, well, Buddy Heald is not a good defender. And they're not wrong. But he's still six foot four. He has the potential and the capability to defend. If James Harden has become a good defender, then Buddy Heald can as well. And also, he'd be playing next to John Wall, Christian Wood, and Daniel House. Or I guess we'd have to get rid of House. I don't know. Maybe we can get him without giving up House. Let's wait and see. But let's say that we trade a first-round pick. Or maybe even two. I don't I don't know at this point, man. Maybe we trade two first-round picks in Eric Gordon. To that point, I still think that's a good trade because you're getting a much better player. You're getting a legit guy that is consistent. Like The thing about Eric Gordon is, yes, if we had a healthy Gordon from two years ago, then that wouldn't make sense to trade him straight up for Buddy Heald. But right now, Eric Gordon is not that same guy. He's not consistent at all. Like Eric Gordon can go out and be the best player in the series in the playoffs, or he can just be a scrub. Like Eric Gordon can go out and average 24 a game in a playoff series and shoot 42% from three and 48 from the field. Like Eric Gordon can do that, but he just doesn't do that. And he gets hurt a lot. He missed like 40 games or something last season. He also did have surgery midseason. So you can't really rely on Eric Gordon. So if you can get rid of that just abysmal contract, and pair it with some picks for Buddy Heald, you really have to do it. I don't know how Harden would feel about that. I think to this point, he probably doesn't even want Eric Gordon on the team. That's why he wants out, man. He, But the thing is, like, why would he tell John Wall that he's going to be here, man, that they talked before? and he, like, I don't, I just don't understand any of this, to be honest with you guys. It's honestly it's just a wait-and-see game, man. But, man, when you're covering the Rockets and you're covering news, you just got to report what's going on. And it's the same thing with last night, how – James Harden said that he'd beat a camp. I, I made a tweet saying that uh, everyone's worrying too much that James Harden will retire Rocket. I'm still going to stick by that, but I just wanted to let you guys know the latest news. It's very concerning to me how James Harden's own mother came out and said that he's doing what he needs to do to win a ring because where is he going to go? If he goes to Philly, it's not any easier than it is in Houston, right? I mean, yeah, I guess you have to go through some worse teams, but you got to go through the Pucks. you got to go through the Celtics, the Raptors. Like, I don't understand any of this. And also... You wouldn't have Ben Simmons. If you go to Philly, you're playing with Embiid and no Simmons. So how does that, like, yeah, maybe you have a higher chance in the East, but is Joel Embiid going to stay healthy? That's another thing. Like, Joel Embiid, man, I don't remember the last time he even played a full season. What was the last time Joel Embiid played, like, 70 games, bro? I, honestly, I don't know. I traded Embiid in fantasy, but that's a story for a different time, guys. It's your boy Swaggy signing out. Hope you have a great your day. Let me know down below. Do you guys think that James Harden will be a Rocket to start the season? Because I feel as if he does start the season as a Rocket, he'll stay there. I just don't see anyone making a trade. Now, the only way James Harden will not be a Rocket is if he comes out and says, I will not play. I don't think Harden will do that, man. He does love the city and he loves basketball too much. He'll be back, man. Give him time. Let him go out to these clubs every night. We, we do, in a sense, need to kind of stop overreacting. Like, I'm not overreacting right now. I'm just letting everyone know there's a difference. I'm not saying this is bad, guys. James Harden might actually want to leave. Yeah, he might. But at the end of the day, the Rockets have the rights to his contract and they will not trade him unless they get a star player and multiple picks and pick swaps back. Once again, guys, hope you have a great rest of your day. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Turn the bell on, man. Hit those notifications. It means a lot, guys. Of course, I think 77% of the people that watch my videos are not subscribed. So 
we can do better than that, man. If you're watching my videos, you find yourself getting recommended them routinely, just subscribe, man. It takes a second. You'll get them as soon as they drop. Guys, peace.